Hello, my weirdling. This is Danny Danger, and this is my pull list for August 13th. You know, I'm like two days away from flying to LA for the Geeky Awards, you guys. Two days in which I will not sleep at all. We are one Batgirl issue away from Batgirl number 35. If you haven't seen the new Batgirl redesign, go check it out. What do you, live under a rock? Seriously, it's absolutely beautiful. I might murder someone if I find out they have a size six yellow Doc Martin. So, not size six. God, I'm not a size six. I have giant feet. I'm a size nine. <laughs> Why did I say size six? If Bigfoot has a pair of yellow Doc Martins, <laughs> I'm coming to your house, Bigfoot. Give me my shoes. <laughs> No, I'm not picking up Batgirl number 34. I'm gonna pick it up with number 35. But I do want to mark that we are a month out from when Batgirl starts. It's kind of momentous. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles annual for 2014 is going to be awesome. Get your popcorn ready. The turtles have been transported to another dimension and they have to fight outer space warlords. Whoa, talk about a blast from the past. Dead at 17 Blasphemy Throne number one comes out this week and if I'm being honest, it's been so long since I read Dead at 17, I couldn't really tell you that I remember what it's about specifically. So I'm gonna reread it. And then I'm going to pick up this newest apocalypse arc. Cause that's kind of what the book is about, teenage girls and the apocalypse. Speaking of books I haven't read in forever and ever, Dream Merchant number four comes out this week. And I'm really, really excited <laughs> because it's been forever and I've almost also forgotten what this book is about, but I do remember that the art is fantastic. So again, with the refresher, this is like the week of really old reads. I'm gonna continue to do this. Woo! Do we love caffeine in me or what? I'm also gonna pick up this issue of Leprechaun because I mean, how could I not? Ginger picks up Leprechaun. <laughs> Stereotip. Is this, I said stereo pit. Awesome. <laughs> Even better. The politically incorrect pin from Bic. <laughs> the second politically incorrect pen from Bic, because they made those pink pins, you know, for women a while back. <laughs> um, pop the brakes. We're 10 years into the future in Shutter number five. And what, now Kate is keeping secrets from us? Kate, we didn't used to be this way. I don't, I don't understand. In Sex Criminals number seven, we're finally going to find out the fate of Susie's library and the bank situation. And what does John find in Kegelface's house? Is it something naughty? Is it something helpful to he and Susie? Is it something that shows her softer, more domestic side? Somehow I doubt that last one, but we'll see. Well, <laughs> judging by the preview to all new X-Men number 30, it looks like two kids had fun on their date. Hope you guys used protection. No, but seriously, it is really nice to see these two characters get together and have a good time because they both need a win. But it looks like the pillow talk conversation takes a turn. And I really need some text bubbles in this preview, Marvel. Like, really badly. In Avengers Undercover number eight, we are jumping three months into the future after the gang infiltrates the Masters of Evil. Um, and the cover of this has a lot of really exciting things happening and I don't care about any of them except for the fact that Colin might tell Aiden that he's in love with them and get all close and smooty on the cover. Is this the thing that could happen? Also, I'm still fighting with Death Locket. We are still in a fight, not happy with her. And a giant list. X-Men number 18, Amazing X-Men number 10, Nightcrawler number five, Captain Marvel number six, Batman number 34, Zero number 10, and Coffin Hill number 10. Did you like my list? Are you pulling some of the same comics that I'm pulling? Are you not pulling anything that I'm pulling? Tell me down below in the comments. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, subscribe. That means share and subscribe at the same time as quickly as humanly possible. And also a special thanks goes out to Austin Books and Comics for taking such pristine care of our comic books. Pristine.